Hello and welcome to this IDS podcast on short-term monitoring of atypical melanocytic lesions. My name is John Powley from the University of Gothenburg in Sweden. I'm sure you're all familiar with the phrase, when in doubt, cut it out. Of course, this makes perfect sense and is perfectly reasonable, but if we're in doubt too often, this can become very expensive for healthcare and uncomfortable for our patients. So let's take this lesion as an example. We have a melanocytic lesion with an atypical network and an eccentrically located blotch to the left. Of course, we might be in doubt when looking at an image like this and consider excision, but we can't forget the comparative approach and we have to look at the rest of the lesions in this patient. And when doing this, we can see that this patient has multiple atypical melanocytic lesions, which are very similar to each other, and now we are no longer in doubt. Nevertheless, it's not uncommon to see patients that have multiple nevi that all look completely benign, but just one single atypical or equivocal melanocytic lesion as the one seen here. And of course, in these cases, you have to decide, is this a nevus or is it a melanoma? If you think it's a nevus, of course, you can send the patient home and ask them to perform self-examination and come back if they see changes or any growth. If you think it's a melanoma, of course, you have no other option than to excise the lesion. But in many cases, you'll still be uncertain and not know whether it's a nevus or a melanoma. And of course, you can apply the classical rule of when in doubt, cut it out and perform excision. Or another option would be short-term monitoring. Short-term monitoring of atypical melanocytic lesions has been studied by Scott Menzies' group in Sydney, Australia. Back in 2008, they published this study based on over 2,600 lesions that were monitored, showing that less than 20% of them needed to be excised due to changes morphologically and dermoscopically. 81 of these lesions were melanomas, and the majority of these were, of course, in situ. So they were finding melanomas at a very early stage and without excising too many lesions. The recommended interval for follow-up is three to 4.5 months because they have shown that 100% of melanomas will have changed within this time period. Before considering short-term monitoring of atypical melanocytic lesions, we should know also when to not monitor. Of course, we should never monitor lesions with a clear suspicion of melanoma. For example, this new melanocytic lesion with an atypical appearance in a 57-year-old patient. We should also never monitor nodular or raised lesions. Of course, if it's a thick lesion, and you leave it be for three to four months, the prognosis is going to be even worse if it turns out to be a melanoma. For the same reason, we should never monitor lesions with blue color, such as this case in which we might have considered combined nevus as a diagnosis with a blue nevus arising in another nevus, but of course the asymmetry uh, makes us be in doubt, and in this case it actually turned out to be a melanoma. So let's have a look at some cases of short-term monitoring of atypical melanocytic lesions. And we'll start with the case that we were looking at before. Uh, after four months, we can see that the lesion is pretty much unchanged. The image quality uh, of the first image is not perfect, but we can see that no new structures have appeared and the lesion looks exactly identical. And here we have a female patient with multiple nevi on her back. One of the lesions was slightly more atypical compared to the others, but not a clear-cut melanoma. It was therefore monitored for four months. And as you can see, the images at day zero and after four months are practically the same and no new dermoscopic findings are observed, so the patient could be reassured. Another great area to monitor short-term are uh, slightly atypical melanocytic lesions that are located in acral regions. Of course, this is an area in which uh, surgery can be quite cumbersome uh, for the patient. And you can see that after four months, no changes have occurred in this acral nevus. Again, another case of an acral nevus in which no changes are occurring after four months. In this lesion, we did, however, see changes occurring at four months. This was a melanocytic lesion on the upper arm of a man in his 60s, and as you can see at the follow-up image, we see fibrosis in white areas occurring at 10 o'clock, and also the appearance of new dotted vessels, which were not present at day zero. 
So this lesion was excised and turned out to be a melanoma in situ. In this lesion, we also saw changes occurring after four months of follow-up. At 12 o'clock in this area, marked in white, we can see that a negative network is starting to appear that was not present at day zero. Again, the lesion was then excised and showed to be an invasive melanoma, but still only 0.5 millimeters in thickness and without ulceration, so the prognosis was still good. In summary, patients that have single, flat, or slightly raised equivocal melanocytic lesions may be considered for short-term monitoring. The follow-up interval in this case should be 3 to 4.5 months, and at follow-up, if you see any dermoscopic changes, the lesion should be excised. Thank you very much for listening, and see you soon. Bye-bye.